the Twitch leak. By now, you likely know all about it. A platform-wide data leak revealed the earnings of all streamers on the service, and while this is old news at this point, you may have missed that the data led to the discovery of a money laundering scheme worth millions of dollars. It all started on October 5th, 2021, when Twitch was hacked and a lot of info was leaked. And by a lot, we mean, like, all of it. While some private information, like passwords, seemed to have remained safe, information about an unreleased Steam competitor called Vapor became known to the public. But what garnered the most attention was the information on the earnings of some of the top streamers on the platform. While this information has always been publicly available, you know, you could literally just look at their subscriber count and do some basic math, actually having the exact official amount published certainly caused some shock. While expected streamers like XQC and Summit were found at the top of the earnings list, there were some surprises for the community, such as Critical Role taking the top spot. But the surprises weren't just found at the top of the list. Fairly quickly, the Turkish community noticed that some Turkish streamers, who averaged around 40 to 50 viewers per stream, were making quite a bit of money. Once this was discovered, questions began emerging as to how it was possible. Sure, these streamers could just have some wealthy fans, but even then, their earnings were incredibly hard to explain. On October 23rd, Ahmet Jaren Sonuc, one of the biggest streamers on the platform in Turkey, discovered the truth as to what was happening. In a series of tweets, he revealed that these streamers, mostly from the Night Online community, were earning around 2,500 USD per day. Along with that, he revealed that they were doing it through money that was laundered through stolen credit cards. After making a deal with the streamer, money would be transferred through bits and cheering, and in return, once the streamer receives the money, they pay a portion of the money back to the launderer. While this scam has been most prevalent in Turkey, it has begun to spread elsewhere, with some American streamers confirming that they had received emails offering a similar service with the same email message. Launder our money, and you'll get 30% of the total revenue. In total, it's estimated that around $10 million has been laundered through Turkish streamers. But that's not the only way these streamers have been abusing the system. Along with this money laundering scheme, some partnered Turkish streamers have been using an add-on to spam international ads that they wouldn't have access to otherwise, in order to boost their ad revenue to earn thousands each month as well. Accounting for the exchange rate, 2,500 USD is equal to about 25,000 lira or seven times the average monthly minimum wage in Turkey. To say the least, it's unsurprising why so many streamers were involved in the scandal. As a result of Jarain covering and talking about the scandal, it caught the attention of both local Turkish newspapers and the Turkish parliament, with Gürsel Tekin, the vice president of the Republican People's Party, releasing a statement condemning the actions of those involved. While most streamers have been able to escape any formal punishment for now, some pro players have not been as lucky. Soon after the scandal was revealed, it was reported that Riot set out to take action and ban any players that were involved in the scandal. However, Riot Turkey's country manager, Ardinç Ekal, tweeted out that Riot would continue to monitor the situation, but wouldn't take immediate action. But that didn't stop the organizations from taking matters into their own hands, with BBL Esports quickly dropping three players, Kiro, Cassie X3, and Dilara. Fireflux Esports and Regnum Karaya Esports would also follow suit. However, the most prevalent player still involved with the scandal is from Ascend Gaming, Mehmet Yegiz Ipek and his brother Alihan Ipek, better known as CNED and Den C. In a twit longer, Den C claims that they were approached by one of the scammers but decided not to take part in the scheme. However, a transaction still took place without the consent of CNED. CNED claimed that the scammer only contacted his brother, saying, quote, He talked with my older brother. That guy sent me the bits. The bits transferred to me. I didn't report those bits to Twitch, I acknowledge that. I didn't report to Twitch and took the money. I repeat, once again, the guy did not contact me. I acknowledge that even though I did not intend to, technically, I got involved in this, unfortunately. Along with that, CNED confirms that he did return part of the money as the scammers threatened to donate so many bits that Twitch would shut down his channel. Shortly after CNED's statement was covered by various outlets, a statement released by Ascend also supported CNED's innocence, saying that CNED at the time was not aware that the bits were connected to a money laundering scandal. Ascend also tried to discredit some reports saying, quote, We don't condone any allegations or insults towards our players, only aimed at creating drama. We recommend that people use a variety of sources for their information, as well as make sure to fact check any articles you read before making assumptions. 
For now, no actions have been taken towards CNED by either Riot or Ascend. It'll be interesting to see if there does end up being any fallout from the situation. But right now, this is where the scandal ends. This obviously isn't the first time the community has dealt with issues with the platform in general. From classic issues like donation refunds, to newer issues like hate raids and the increase in bots, it shouldn't be on the shoulders of people like Jerain to identify things like money laundering schemes. And because Twitch has been pretty slow on the draw yet again, the community is beginning to lose patience for the platform. With the cracks in Twitch beginning to show, more and more people have been moving to other platforms like YouTube. Healthy competition between companies almost always leads to positive gains for the consumers which in this case is us, the viewers. And with more pressure than ever now on Twitch to improve, the future of the streaming community as a whole is looking a little bit brighter. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list and shout out to Jason B, Brendan QB, Foxy, Lyra, Mob, Sierra, Shampoo, Weibo, Spartacus, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters, as well as an extra special shout out to Steven, Noodles, Marco, and Andy for being Diamond supporters. Hope you guys liked the video. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, Leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name's Jonah, thanks for watching.